Hey, what's up guys? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us. Today's Wednesday, September 1st, 2010, and the long-awaited iPod refresh is here. I say long-awaited because on my other channel, I had a lot of iPod videos. Those have, uh, I think we're up to about 300,000 views, and a lot of people were asking me, should I get the third gen now? wait for the four, what should I do? So to me, it's been like six months that we've been waiting and anticipating and, and coming up with things in our head of what we want these new iPods to be. So we're gonna go over what Apple did today, see the changes and stuff, and uh, you know, see what the event was all about. So it started at 10 a.m. this morning, Pacific time, which would be 1 p.m. here on the East Coast. Um, the first thing on the website is the iPod Shuffle. It's always been the first one listed there. The perfect mix. The shuffle's new. Uh, I really don't expect them to sell very many. I don't even know if I've ever seen uh, one of the most recent generations. Well, it kind of looks to me like an earlier one, actually. It kind of has the click wheel on it. It's got buttons here. It talks to you multiple playlists. Uh, i got a couple colors now, and I believe they're all 2 gig for, uh, let's see. Price would probably be good to have. You're gonna get your two gig for fifty bucks, so that's not that bad. Two gigabytes of storage, fifty dollars, uh, same warranty. Voiceover is gonna work. So if you really just want something for exercising, that's gonna be your thing. Next update: the iPod Nano. Honestly, I do not like what they've done to the Nano. I can't wait to get my hands on one and see if I do like it. But uh, they've kept the eight and sixteen gigabyte sizes: eight gig starting at one fifty, or eight gig at one fifty, and then a the sixteen at one eighty. They have a crap load of colors. Looks really small to me. Maybe maybe it isn't. I haven't seen one in person. I probably will in a couple weeks when I'm up at the Apple Store. Um, and I'll report back to you then. So so here it is. The whole thing looks like a big touch screen to me. Uh, it's going to ship in a week, so if you want to buy one, I suppose you could now. We've got red, blue, green, yellow, gray. Um, product red and pink here. So that, so that's pretty good options. Um, the back of it, it kind of looks like it has that clip that the the uh, shuffle used to have. So I don't know if they're trying to make this more uh, portable, but I don't know, it looks cool, it looks like they've really made it smaller. But really, they're trying to get your attention here. The iPod Touch. The iPod Touch is by far, at least where I live, the most popular iPod around. I see maybe a Nano or two in a year, I never see them, or classics. So now they actually have an eight gigabyte fourth generation, which I love because I won't have to yell at people anymore for saying there was no 3G 8 gig because there wasn't. So here it is. They gave it FaceTime. So that's going to be a camera on the front and the back. Honestly, I really hope they wouldn't do that. It makes it way too similar to an iPhone and I wanted to have that leading edge over all you iPod Touch owners. Now you can say you have a camera too and that pisses me off. Yeah, you know what I mean. So anyways, camera's there. It's the same camera that's on the iPhone. I think it's 5 megapixels. Quality is very good. So if I were an iPod Touch owner, I'd be ecstatic and ready to go buy one today. Uh, Retina display. I think we all saw this coming. The beautiful high-resolution display. Definitely needed that. HD video recording, we touched on that. And Game Center. That'll probably just be an update to iOS. So the iPhone, the iPhone get that too. Game Center. I beta tested it. Uh, I think I opened it twice, so I have no idea what that does. Uh, your 8 gig is going to be 229. I kind of expected 199, but I suppose bumping it up a little bit, so not too bad. Uh, 32 gigabyte is 299, just like it was before, and your 64 gig is 399. And I'd like at this point to say I told you so to everybody who said there is going to be 128 gig, because we won't even see that. Probably not next year, maybe the year after that. So nice upgrades here. The case looks about the same. It doesn't maybe look as contoured as before. The thing looks really thin though from the pictures, but they always do, of course. I can't wait to get my hands on one. And again, we'll get back to you then and do some hands-on video with them. Uh, may actually have an unboxing coming up. My friend's gonna get one. Uh, I have not determined if I will or not. So it pretty much the same thing. You are gonna get your N Wi-Fi in 2.4 gigahertz. So that's a nice, uh, that's definitely welcome. 40 hours of battery. I think that's much better than the third gen. So it's great to see that. Um, iPod Classic, I don't even think they touched it. It doesn't say new, they still have it. Honestly, I probably would have done the same thing. Uh, a lot of you brought up the fact that a lot of people need a much larger device in terms of 160 gigabytes for musicians and stuff that have all this music. Updates, you know, there aren't that many people. It wouldn't have been a business effective um, 
idea to update the classic because there's none of them out there. So I think it's, they probably should have dropped the price 50 bucks, but whatever, it's still there. The other thing we're gonna touch on now, because that's new as well, is the Apple TV. Lots of rumors about this thing. I'm really not that excited about it. The last time I sat down in front of a TV was months and months and months ago. That's the last thing I have time to do right now. But here it is, Apple TV, HD movie and TV shows, TV show rentals, Netflix and YouTube streaming, that'd be kinda cool. iTunes music and photos from your computer, 802.11 and Wi-Fi and Apple remote. Shipping in September, so that's any time in the next 30 days. And it's $100, which I think is very reasonable. Uh, it's black, I think it would look better in white, whatever. So it comes with this little remote. It's got HDMI on the back as well as, um, I think I looked at it before and it looked like it had mini USB, micro USB, whatever that is. And uh, yeah, well it's got the, the picture there but they don't label it so who knows what that's for. HDMI, optical audio, ethernet if you're not gonna be using wireless and your power adapter. So I highly doubt I'll be buying one. I never watch TV and you know, I like to hook my MacBook Pro up to my TV if I'm going to do that or my monitor through HDMI or DVI and use that. So I really don't see a benefit for me of using an Apple TV. I would never use the rentals or anything like that. So that is uh, everything I can see right here. I suppose I should touch on iTunes because people have told me I forgot. iTunes 10, uh, it's got this feature here, uh, whatever it's like ping or something. It's um, Probably should have brushed up on it before doing the video. iTunes ping, follow uh, follow artists and friends, check out their profiles and recent activity, and learn about concerts and events near you. If you're really into music, that'll be really cool. Me, I love music. I don't have time to do that. I really don't. I know everybody says, oh, I don't have time. My life's so busy. But right now, it's way too busy for this. iTunes 10, it's not, uh, not out yet. It says coming soon, so... Who knows when that'll be? And they also did. I haven't watched the keynote yet. The keynote yet, so I hope I'm not missing anything big. But with the iPad, they talked about iOS 4.2 for it. So I guess it's going to be 4.2 and not 4.0. I guess that just kind of keeps it uh, the same uh, between the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. But it has everything we expected: multitasking, folders, printing. That'll definitely be welcome. AirPlay, which is nice. Wirelessly stream videos, music, and photos from your iPad to your Apple TV which uh, if I ever do end up getting an Apple TV, that'd be kind of cool to use that. Better mail, we expected that. Game center, accessibility, keyboard, enterprise work, uh, text on web pages. Really uh, nothing really exciting or out of the blue here, but that'll be nice. And it says that's coming in November. I kind of hoped it would be available, I don't know, now or next month, but two months, whatever, whatever it takes to make it perfect, do it. So. That's what Apple's done. I think overall the updates are good. Again, I, I'm i done with iPods. I'm done with iPod touches. Um, my next phone will probably be an iPhone. If it isn't an iPhone, it could be an Evo or something like that. The iPhone, to me, I'll be honest, it, it feels a little slow. It feels sluggish. I open stuff, it's a little slow. Maybe I just need to do a, a restore or reset. It's just slow and the battery life, I can't even get through a day. So iPhone 4, awesome phone, but uh, I think Apple could definitely improve it in the iPhone 5 or whatever that's called. So there we go. iPod Touch unboxing should be up. Uh, whenever my friend gets it, he'll probably be ordering it soon. He said we could do some hands-on stuff with that, so that'll be nice. Um, the Shuffle and the Nano, I'll probably never have one of those, but we may go to the Apple Store and play with that stuff soon. So definitely stay tuned to the channel or the website, techinform.us, for that information. My Twitter, for even more information, is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Links down below. And catch us live next Tuesday night between 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks, guys. Leave me a comment below with your thoughts on this and what you're going to get, if anything. And I look forward to replying to those. Subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.